plan to get what you want. We told you in the first two videos not to think about how you are going to achieve your goals. This is because getting bogged down with this kind of detail can start you thinking negatively and prevent you from actually going for the goal in the first place. Look, there are many ways that you can lose weight or make $100,000. Now is the time that you need to think about these things. You've probably heard the old saying, if you fail to plan, then you are planning to fail. This is very true. A goal without a plan is just a pipe dream. So you need to get your planning hat on and start thinking about what you need to do each day to achieve your goals. It is not essential that your plan is perfect. In fact, it is virtually impossible to come up with a perfect plan to achieve a challenging goal. But you must start with a plan. As you progress, you can make changes to it. The best plans are always reviewed regularly and changed to reflect reality. It is fine to have areas of your plan which are about research. In the beginning, it is natural that you will need to find out more about how to do something. Today, we are lucky to have information at our fingertips on the Internet. Use this to your advantage. Whatever you want to achieve, there will be someone who has done this already and shared their experiences online. So, take a look at what they did and whether this is a good fit for you. A great planning technique. Do you remember that in the first video, we asked you to take some quality time out with no distractions and ask yourself questions about your life so that you could figure out what you really want? Well, we're going to ask you to do the same again to come up with a plan for your goals. But there's a difference here. Instead of asking yourself a number of different questions, we want you to ask yourself one question for each goal. You will then spend 20 to 30 minutes writing down the answers that come into your mind. So if your goal is to earn $100,000 in the next 12 months, then ask yourself a question like, how can I earn $100,000 in the next year? Spend at least 20 minutes answering this question. If nothing is coming to mind, then focus on the question again until it does. Keep going with this until you really cannot come up with any more ideas. What you are doing here is asking your subconscious mind to come up with answers for you. Once you have a list for your plan, you can add to it later. Before you go to sleep, ask, subconscious mind, please tell me how I can make $100,000 in a year. If you have an idea in the middle of the night, then have a pen and paper handy so that you can write it down and then go back to sleep. You may find that when you wake up in the morning, you have more ideas. Get them all down on paper. If the ideas sound crazy, don't worry, just write them down. If one of your goals is to lose weight and you have failed at this before, then your question could be, how can I lose 60 pounds in 12 months and not feel hungry? Or, how can I lose 60 pounds in a year and not give in to temptation? A plan with daily tasks. Once you have the ideas for your high-level plan, then the next step is to break this down into things that you can do each day to move you closer to your goal. When you take daily action towards your goal, you make a statement to your subconscious mind that you are really serious about making this happen. In turn, your subconscious will do everything that it can to help you. If you were only to take action every few days, then your subconscious would believe that you are not serious and provide no assistance to you at all. It is essential that you have your subconscious mind on your side at all times. So, for example, one of your tasks for the first day could be to look at the different ways that you can make $100,000. This could be to get a higher paying job or even a second job. Or it could be to create a side hustle like an online business to make the additional money that you need. For a weight loss goal, you can research all of the different diet plans online to find one that will suit you. There are hundreds of these available. If you want to learn a new language, then research the best way to do this in the shortest possible time. Once you make a start on a daily plan, you will find that new tasks emerge that you will need to complete the next day, and so it goes on. The most important thing is to establish the tasks for the first day and then make a start straight away. You must record your daily tasks. We recommend writing these down on paper or in a journal. If you want to use technology, then that's fine. Just make sure that you can access your daily task list easily. A simple to-do list can be really effective. Crossing off those things you have completed will motivate you and will help you to reflect on progress. If you have something on your to-do list that you were unable to complete, then don't beat yourself up over this. Just transfer it to your task list for the next day and get it done then. When you do complete all of your daily tasks, then give yourself a congratulatory pat on the back. Accountability. If you work a job, then you have a boss to be accountable to. If you are in a customer-facing role, then you are accountable to them as well. With the business, it is all about being accountable to the customers. When you are working on your goals to achieve what you want in your life, then you are accountable to nobody, unless you want to be. Some people need others to be accountable to and others don't. If you are a true self-starter, then you probably don't need anyone. But if this is your first time setting goals and seriously trying to change your life for the better, then it could be a good idea for you to have some accountability.
If you want someone to push you and motivate you, then think about your circle of family and friends. Is there anyone in this group that will really tell you how it is and kick you in the rear if you are falling behind with your tasks? The last thing you want to do is to choose someone that will sympathize with you and say things like, never mind, there is always tomorrow. You need someone who will truly hold you accountable. If you are struggling to find someone, then there are websites where you can declare your goals and the community will push you hard to achieve them. Imagine this scenario. You are still working at your full-time job and you have had a stressful day. You return home and there are your goal daily tasks waiting for you. So what do you do? Take the evening off? If you are not accountable to anyone, then you can easily do this because only you will know that you have let yourself down. If you have to explain your lack of activity to someone that you know will give you a hard time, then this can be the extra push that you need to overcome the tiredness and tackle your tasks. You know which option is better, don't you? In the event that you cannot find a good accountability partner in your circle of family and friends, and you don't really fancy the idea of sharing your dreams with strangers online, then there is another option that you may find a little out there. But bear with us, because if you take this seriously, it can work really well for you. What we are talking about here is creating an imaginary boss. This boss is going to hold you accountable and will praise you to the hilt when you do your daily tasks and stay on track and give you a verbal beating if you fall behind due to laziness. If you adopt this idea, then only you have to know about it. At the end of each day, you will sit down with your imaginary boss and review what you have achieved. Your boss will pat you on the back if you have done well and kick you in the rear if you haven't. Give it a try for a while and take it seriously. It really works. Don't share your goals with everyone. In some success books, you will be encouraged to share your goals with everyone that you know. This is based on the premise that you will be accountable to many people and that it will spur you on to break through procrastination and keep on the right track with your daily plans. But in our opinion, this has a serious downside and we strongly recommend that you do not share your goals with everyone. Just those that you can trust will use the information to encourage you. Our reason for this is because, without exception, Everyone has negative people within their circle of family and friends. If you are currently earning $30,000 a year, and so are most of your friends, and you then suddenly announce that you will be earning $100,000 or more for the next year onwards, then this will shock people and probably make them jealous. They will find all kinds of ways to try and talk you out of this. You will hear things like, you will never do it, and you haven't got what it takes. If you have mental toughness, which we will discuss in a later video, then you can just let these kind of comments bounce off you and carry on regardless. But if you are not at this point yet, then this kind of negativity can be devastating to your progress. Sometimes people really close to you, such as your parents or siblings, may tell you that you are wasting your time. Some may even laugh at you. So, our advice is to keep everything to yourself until you have developed the mental toughness to deal with this. In the next video, we will discuss the need for you to control your thoughts to get what you really want. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.